Hi, Dan Johnson here. I'm in the ultralight area of Oshkosh 2022. Give you one of my little twirls so you can see what's going on. If it looks a little quiet to you, that's because there's an air show going on right now and a lot of people are off watching that. But what I want to talk to you about right now is this little aircraft behind me. This is an Eros. That's the brand. And it, Ant is the name of the trike. Now, we've seen this before. I've reported on it. You can put that entire package, wing, carriage, engine, and all, into a series of bags and carry it in a car or a pickup truck or something like that. Pretty cool thing. But this particular, cup, this particular aircraft is made in the Ukraine. So think about what that means today for these people. And they're still building aircraft. Uh, I'll tell you about the gentleman that told me this information, but they are actually sneaking into the factory, locking the door behind them, and continuing to build this aircraft and the wings and everything else as almost a way to stay sane in a country that's uh, undergoing terrible uh, tragedies and losses. So my heart goes out to those guys, and I hope they can continue. These are some interesting aircraft. Now, the aircraft itself is basically a hang glider with a carriage underneath it that you use to put this wing up in the air, and then you can go soar the aircraft. That's what uh, a couple of fellows here that were talking to him and I all enjoy, but he took this particular airplane, a man named Mark Riddell, and flew it across Australia, 3,100 miles in this aircraft. And if that seems a little unlikely, well, flying across Australia is probably a little unlikely. It'd be like flying across the great west of the U.S. because there's not a lot of services. So his wife followed him along and uh, helped him with uh, fuel, which is one of the biggest challenges, actually, and, of course, water and food and other things and support that he needed. So 3,100 miles in that little rig. And you say, well, why would he do that? Isn't it just for going up and having some fun? Well, yes, it is, but you can fly these for a long time. Now, this particular guy says, I've got a whole hangar full of aircraft, a helicopter, he named some fixed wings and all aircraft. But he said, this one, one just like this, not this particular one, but one just like this, says, that's what I pull out in the morning and go fly first. He's really intrigued by this aircraft. So you know it's a hang glider wing, and we're going to look at the engine in a second. But first, let's go have a look at this carriage has nice little fairing on it, comfortable seating, obviously for just a sole occupant, part 103 type vehicle. But there's a channel down here that I didn't understand at first, so I went in to have a little closer look at it, this channel. And what happens is the control bar, the triangular control bar, and the base tube sits in that where it can be secured. Back here, there's an axle that folds up. Again, this is so you can pack it away in a bag, and that works very neatly to get it in there, those bags that you saw earlier. Here's the Vitarazzi engine. This engine is very popular among powered paraglider pilots, and now that engine made, I'm told, expressly for that purpose, also being used on this trike. So there you have the Ant trike. Cool that they're dedicated to this, and I am just real proud of these guys for putting up with the difficult conditions in their own country to continue to build aircraft that make people smile. People like me, people like those others that were here, and Mark Riddell, the guy that flew this for such a long distance. I'm Dan Johnson reporting to you from the ultralight area of Oshkosh 2022. Thanks for coming along. Another of the three producers in Ukraine is Aeropract, maker of the A32 and A22, often done in these bright colors. I call them popsicle airplanes at Oshkosh 2022. As you'll see in the video below, they took quite a pounding thanks to the war in Ukraine, which we hope will end very soon.